Hey, what's up? I gotta, I have, I have a lot to say. And I have a lot to say based on um, Instagram deleting uh, Brother Riza Islam from, they deleted his account. And the brother was just speaking truth and waking the people up based off of facts. And based off of having witnesses to prove that what he was teaching to the people is absolutely true and facts. And proving that that the people in power, you know, based off the, uh, uh, what uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and based off of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches in their teachings is that there's a wicked plot against killing the people on this planet. And it's and for and for an app to actually delete a brother who's clean, upright, well spoken and teaching the people based off of what's going on in the current events and the current news of, of what's happening in the world it says a lot about your your profile being deleted means that that it is he is making impact and then let's go backwards and then youtube deleting brother ben x's profile from youtube from him actually teaching and sharing information on waking up the people once he reached about uh, something i think was a hundred thousand followers they deleted youtube deleted brother ben x's account and then let's go back further and then all accounts just wiped off the most the the honorable minister louis farrakhan so i'm bringing this up because i did get my ex from the nation of islam the Nation of Islam is the number one reason why I'm doing what I'm doing and, and why I'm successful in what I do. Because number one, uh, at the age of 16, I was uh, invited to the mosque and I learned knowledge of self in which I've never learned anywhere else. Number two, I learned about how to eat to live by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's where I got the book from at the mosque in Islam. And these, and then there were other books too, Our Savior Has Arrived, which I've read, and The Fall of America. But this is bothersome due to the fact that I follow Brother Riza Islam and I follow Brother Ben X to keep myself inspired based off of what they post on a daily basis. It keeps me in check. So, the, so what I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is that we should now really let's turn it up a notch, you know. So you know, I come from a health standpoint. Now let's let's take on what's let's focus on what's happening now. So we already know that blacks were the number one um, leading cause, leading death in 2020, based off of this Corona or COVID thing that's going on because of having pre-existing diseases so the book how to eat to live right was transcribed in the early 1900s based off the what the most honorable Elijah Muhammad was teaching about fasting and the proper way to eat being that it was out so long already means that we had the opportunity to not even catch a disease so we get our own ass whipping for that because anybody who goes against something in which you know then or either, or either not passing the information on, you get your behind whipped, especially if it does good for the people. So I'm here to let you know, when you think about pre-existing diseases, we have to start with action. And we have to start doing things in such a manner where we're showing not just uh, apps on the phone, but the world, but ourselves too, and our families and those around us that KFC, we gotta stop spending our money there. McDonald's, we got to stop spending our money there. White Castle, we got to stop spending our money there. The corner stores, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, the corner stores, we got to stop spending our money there, right? Because the Yemens are not going through no issue right now. And I don't have no problem with them. They doing business. Uh, Wendy's, we got to stop spending our money there. Pizza Hut, we got to stop spending our money there. Domino's, we got to stop spending our money there. You know, um, Dunkin' Donuts, we can make our own coffee. We can stop spending our money there because these fast food low seasons, we got to stop spending our money there. So we get these fast Burger King, 
Burger King looks like it's going out of business. We, every, I think everybody stopped spending their money there. But um, but what I'm saying is that we really have to start taking control of ourselves as individuals first and foremost to make an impact on those who are next to us and be a living example. Now, there may be some days where you go, oh, okay, you know, you may need something. Maybe you're hungry, but let it be it. But also now, check this out. When you do spend money, see if you could put some money away at the same time. That's something that I learned and picked up over time. When you spend money or invest money, put money away as well too, even if it's a dollar or, in, or learn how to invest it or get a financial advisor. You know, so I'm saying these things because we can, in the health world, we can come out on the strong side if we take charge of our actions and make the proper and right choices for our health, not just the fact that because you're hungry, you have the money and you could get something fast. It's better to be hungry and still be strong enough to make it home or to make it to a, a quality restaurant or a supermarket and cook your own food and then eat as opposed to getting a fast food. So we have to stop spending our money at these fast food places because they've been giving us diseases because it's fast food, it's it's empty calories. That's why we're number one. Number two, um, we have to stop buying so much processed food as well. And then we have to practice fasting. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches in how to eat to live. If we eat one meal a day, we'll live to be about 100. If we eat one meal every two days, we'll live to be about 240. If we eat one meal every three days, which is two meals a week of the best food, we will live to be close to be a thousand, but that's nothing in between meals, nothing at all. So a fast isn't a fast unless it's 48. In the book of how to eat to live, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad said, be careful of the future nutritionists or people that come out because the best way is the way that Master Farah Muhammad taught him in which he used his messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad to teach us that how to eat to live how the how to eat to live to extend your life so that you can have a much quality life a much more better life healthier life a more vibrant life a more vital life and a long life okay so i'm letting you know that if you decide to eat something that you're not supposed to all you're doing is feeding a disease that's in its baby stage that the body could take care of or get rid of or you're going to be feeding something and starting up a disease because the food is not even healthy anyway. So you making the choice to buy something, to eat something, to create a disease, and then to add on to the data and the statistics of black people being number one, dying due to malnutrition and being unhealthy. We have to stop this right now. We really do. It's, it's really ridiculous. So if you go buy a certain fast food or even the Chinese food, we even got to stop buying food from them because we don't know how they're cooking or how long the food's been over in their kitchen anyway, because we are the leading number one cause in this COVID corona thing going on right now. And we're so easily manipulated. So we have to stop that by eating the right foods at the proper time so that you can extend your life and let the body that God created do what it's supposed to do which is fight off disease because it would be, it is disrespectful for God to create something so weak and that can't overcome. Give your body the proper food at the proper time and then don't eat until you're hungry so that the body can rid itself of the poison from the last meal that you ate. Therefore, other cells in the body can come out and fight due to environmental toxins that you breathe, see, smell, taste or touch or whatever that you come in contact with. So I'm gonna stop right there, peace.